Keep going, essentially, yes, you're right. He's, he's giving it some extra leg power there. He, he's much faster down, though. Yeah, the down, the slight that's down, a, though. That's a car that needs lots of moxie. It's, that's flat free. That's not free for the mind car. That's awesome. <laughs> It is, oh, I'm sorry, Macho Man. I know you are broke before the weekend started, but. You'll be back in Detroit. You'll be back in next month in Detroit. You can get a few laps done. Wait, if you put the body on and just run, we don't notice. We, we, we'll never be able to tell the difference. We don't know what we're doing here. Patrick, it looks like Lilo and Stitch answered the waffle cart. The waffle cart's now Oh, Ralph Agar picking up debris off the track. Oh, that probably would have caused a tire issue for somebody had she not grabbed it. But but that little bit of courtesy unfortunately cost her a lap. Yeah, it kind of did, but I guess she was helping out someone else. She did. Meanwhile, the magic school but we were uh, ignoring it. Has climbed its way up to fourth place. It is near podium, that magic school bus. Three minutes to driver change, three minutes to the next driver change. Patrick, this time by Fubar Labs. Ladies and gentlemen, that car, that green poop emoji, is about to complete 100. Oh, wow. And oh, no. in front of them, the Joker, the car to a thousand faces. Oh, no, there's a tire. Oh, loose. no, there's a loose tire. Can I, can I get it? There we go. <laughs> Fubar Labs just completed 100 right now, 100 laps. It is still on pace for 270 today. The pit, uh, pit strategy mattered a lot, and in two minutes we're going to have another driver change. That's where we saw the Rizzo Racing with their fantastic lightning, lightning pit stop. We're able to pull out ahead of Fubar for a little bit. Now it looks like the putting the uh, tire back in a better spot. Patrick, it's very unusual to have a race where the drivers put the tires back to where they belong. Usually they're rearranging well, they're them. They're always and... rearranging our track. Yeah, yeah, but then they're throwing them in terrible positions. This is a first where they're fixing it for us. I've never seen that before. And it looks like the waffle cart's pulling in your third place. Right. I'm wondering if that's a scheduled pit stop. Yep, it is a it is scheduled pit stop for the is waffle it? cart. Because it's only one minute to the next driver change. One minute to driver change. Patrick, we're going to have to keep an eye out for smoke because we can tell well, there's a, a distinct sense, an odor of the power wheel. Yeah, I, I don't there. know which car that is. Was it one of the cars that pulled in? Oh, it's Lilo and Stitch! Oh, no! No, they're having a reset, but they're pulling to the pits. I wonder if there was a smoke coming from them. I don't know what that was. But that is your second place car. That means Magic School Bus this time around is going to move into second place. This They're time by, here comes the Magic School Bus and is now in second place. They are now on podium. They moved up two positions in the last 10 minutes. Mostly because the pit stop from Waffle Cart and the error from Lilo and Stitch, they're all relative on the same lap. All right, looks like both Lilo and Stitch and the Joker are back out. <laughs> Just in time for mandatory, mandatory driver pit stop. change. Mandatory driver change. Everyone's got to pit and change drivers. Patrick, that might be good news for Lilo and Stitch and the Joker because they both already pitted. I think they'll just drive on through. They should be the first ones out. Oh, I think they're going to change up. It looks like they're setting to change drivers right now. Oh, they're going to change drivers. Yeah, they're, they're going to change, change anyway. Card of a thousand bases. Looks like the booth stair car is actually going to be the first one out because they were in the pits earlier. Yes, they were in the pits earlier. Advantage them. Waffle cart put down some laps. Waffle cart needs to put down uh, yeah about three laps to over it maybe take first place or uh, sorry not first second place. They definitely could get third depending on Lilo Stitch this time by. Lilo Stitch is trying to make their way out of the pits, but there's Waffle cart. That's a battle for position right there. Lilo and Stitch gets out ahead of Lilo and Stitch. Hold on, Lilo and Stitch barely holding on to third place. Barely. 
That right was a, him. That every second of that pit stop mattered because while the car was breathing right down, where's the school bus? The school bus is still in the pits. Oh no! Your magic. second place car, Magic School Bus, has lost its magic and is falling down to third place. Leo and Stitch is going to go up to second place this time by. They have to get cut out. Same thing with Wolfa Car. Wolfa Car move up to third. Magic School Bus. Oh, losing both of those positions so quickly. Oh, the pit stop, unbelievable. They lost second and third at gaining it. They worked so hard that last stint, but disaster for the Magic School Bus. They took chances, they made mistakes, and they got messy, Jim. They're trying to get back out again. Patrick, is it possible that that's where the motor smell is coming from? Yeah, I'm not sure which car that is now. I don't know either, but we, we noticed it. We just didn't know what was happening. All right, after that shake-up, the winners and winners, the big winners from that pit stop was Lilo and Stitch and Waffle Car, and they both gained a position. The Magic School Bus lost two positions. Card of a Thousand Faces, I think, made up enough ground to overtake the Joker for fifth place. The Joker is still in sixth place, but now ahead of the Wienermobile, which it overtook. So a lot of shit around. A lot of things moving around except for first place. Fubar Lamos is holding steady right now. And they have a commanding lead in this race. It's very tight between second all the way through sixth place. Yeah, that put wide open right even, now. Even the Wienermobile might take six. It's our bet markers. The Blue Stair Car, the Blues Mobile, the Ford F-150, 8th, 9th, and 10th, who are uh, sitting back, sitting pretty. No, they're not going to win the race. They just want to get as high as possible. Patrick, that part and that are in an epic battle for last place. And the Minecraft. They're both next to each other. And the Burger Car. Burger Car's done four laps, and the Minecraft ATV's done three. And that Minecraft car can just put down two more laps. They can come in and not last. Yeah, they're definitely fighting for the not last position. Meanwhile, that Wienermobile is going to see a catch. The Joker. Oh, the Magic School Bus got into the wall a little bit. That's yeah. going to help out part of a thousand faces. The Magic School Bus now opting to take off the front end of their bus. That's probably a smart route move for this race. Well, that Wienermobile won a race yesterday, but it's now struggling to hold on to seventh place. It lost all of its muster, Jim. It did, but I've noticed it's that. It's desperately trying to catch up. It is. <laughs> oh, man. It could do that with these fast. The last few lap times have been very fast for the Wienermobile. It's now clocking a, a bottom end 14 yeah, seconds. The Wienermobile almost overtook Bubar there. They have the pace, but I don't know if they have the time. I mean, we could see a late charge for the Wienermobile. It might be able to push itself ahead. Yeah, the, the Joker had the fastest lap today at a 13.4. Unfortunately, he's got not, not much to show for it, sitting now back in sixth place. I could definitely still smell a motor, a potential motor Please, to go. Yes, that odor is growing stronger. It is going to go stronger. Blue's looking at me like it might be hers. I don't know. It's hard to tell. You, you can, uh, the pack is really tight right now, so. Yeah, usually when, when a car drives past you, you, you get a strong smell of it, but they're all right next to each other, so I can't tell. Patrick, according to, to our, from. according to our tech inspector, it may or may not be the Magic School Bus. That's oh. probably why it had a longer pit. It might have been smoking from that point. Aha, uh -huh. overheating. Which might be the reason that they're outside of the podium right now and a wiener's passing them. Oh, the Mario Kart's completely the wrong way on the track. Oh, jeez. A Mario Kart out of there. Driver on the absolute wrong direction. Well, I bet that hair again. Okay. Expert move by the rest of the drivers of Voight. 
I don't even know how she got turned around. She lost Third, power. Third duct tape and zip ties is now spending the rest of the race in the pit lane from, they're from Kansas City. They're gonna need some moxie points from him because now the Mario Kart that stays out for an extra four laps will overtake them for 12th place. Well, Patrick, they're all set to overtake War Ring because they're already out of the race. If they could just get back out there, duct tape could complete. All it needs yes. is just seven more laps. Mario seven. Kart. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure it'll happen because Mario Kart, if they keep on pace, can overtake War Ring as well. Mario Kart could to go work itself all the way up to 11. Meanwhile, Patrick, that story has come back again. Lilo and Stitch on the front straightaway, and less than a few seconds behind is the Waffle Kart. That is a battle for position, second and third right there. And it's getting hot again. It's getting close. The Waffle Kart now gaining on Lilo and Stitch second place. That last lap, the Waffle Kart was a second faster yeah, than the Wieners. Now passing, yeah, there we go. Waffle passing the Wiener. Lilo and Stitch has the power down the straightaways. The Waffle Kart seems to have the advantage of the corners. Watch Lilo pulling away on the straights, but watch it constrict back into the turns. Oh, that's second and third place battle. Lilo's holding on. Meanwhile, the Magic School Bus in fourth. The, the time bomb of that car is slowly ticking away. Who are they keep it cool enough to finish? Who are that green pickup truck's been holding on? That poop emoji has been leading this race for most of the race now. Patrick, their car is known for being very steady, very, very easy going. When things work for them, they work fine. It's, it's a very, anything that goes wrong with them, it's very sudden and abrupt and unexpected. So what we're seeing here is typical Fubar Labs going out there and putting the laps down necessary to win. Meanwhile, putting laps down, mine car is back out on the track to overtake the burger. They're gonna mash the lap of the burger. They need one That's more right. lap to beat the burger. That is their fourth lap that they've completed in this race. I will remind you that Fubar Labs has 140 laps completed as of this lap. Oh, the card of a thousand faces is pulling off the course. Oh no. They were in fifth place. That means the Joker can now overtake fifth in just a couple laps. Another position change. I'm not sure what's wrong with the PS1 car, but something in the corner possibly. Six minutes to driver change. Six They're looking for a driver part. change. Some part. Oh, something fell off their car. They're looking for. It looks like a wire or something. Yeah, very important oh, wire. wire chain. Oh, that was the chain. One of the drivers was yelling to them in the corner, and their chain had come off. They're looking for all the bits of chain now. Oh, bits, it did the, yeah, it broke. The link came off, oh man, the link of the chain came off in the middle of the track? Yeah, now they're looking for the, uh, they're looking oh. for the link itself. Oh, no. That might be it for them. And unless they find it, the track marshal might be able to look for it. Really unfortunate there for a public. <laughs> Crash right into the timing and scoring booth. That's a first. The steering is done on the Joker completely. You hit me. You hit our timing and score. Well, you hit Patrick. <laughs> it's completely broke. The steering is completely broken on the uh, Joker. Well. Uh -huh. You man, Patrick, me. how you feeling? You hit me in the ankles. You got the ankles on you, man. All right, so our timing scoring booth has been attacked by the Joker. And that currently puts them in, oh, look at that last place. No, they're, they're currently in uh, fifth place. They're going to lose the, the, the Wiener Mobile, which is, where's the Wiener? Right there, is going to overtake them. 
So the steering completely sheared off the Joker and they crashed into Patrick. So if you just joined us, uh, a car ran over our timing and scoring. I didn't appreciate that, Jim. I don't think you'd like that. I don't think anyone would like that, Pastor. <laughs> My favorite part is that as he's hitting it, he's like, the steering broke. He's already exempting himself from any faults. He's just like steering. Well, I hopped the horn at him. I didn't like it. <laughs> All right, so um, other than us getting run over, yeah, there's still a battle for second and third between Lilo and Stitch and lost the card. <laughs> They're still in a battle. <laughs> this battle has been raging on for like six Actually, years. yeah, second and third right there, folks. That on the same lap. That battle has been going on. Whether or not Patrick and I are being assaulted by a power wheel, that red BMW is barely holding on. Is that Waffles trying to come up with Patrick did not appreciate being run over by the Joker, no. Patrick Lockhart seems to be holding on pretty well. Uh, there are 32 minutes left of this endurance point. Oh, wait! Patrick! Oh, no. The lead yeah. car is uh, on! Unbelievable! The leaders have no power! The leader has no power, Patrick! Oh, that is oh, so now it's really interesting. They have 10 laps to make up. Yes, yes, this is huge right there. That car right there has 10 laps to make up while Fubar's in the pits. <laughs> oh, it's not yeah. over yet. Fubar spends more than two and a half minutes in the uh, pits. The clock is ticking for Fubar Labs. They made up one lap. Oh, you fixed the steering for sure this time? That was a quick weld. I'm sure it's just a tack weld. Oh no, he lost power! Oh no, he's got it! He almost popped a fuse doing that. Patrick, the time is running out for Fubar Labs. They could lose the lead to Lilo and Stitch right now. 